Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. Uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to go into uh, Logic Pro's uh, audio effects folder and I'm going to show you guys a plugin called the Nose Gate. But first off, I just want to let uh, the beginners and new users know that basically uh, what my ultimate goal is here is just to get you guys a little bit more familiar with the plugins. I know if you, when I first opened this uh, software, I couldn't really. I couldn't really move around because I didn't know how to. I didn't know where to find my audio effects. I don't know how to basically do anything. And with time, I learned. So basically, I'm just trying to make you guys skip, uh, skip all, skip all that time, um, and basically get to it uh, a lot quicker than I did. I wish I kind of had somebody like me back in the day, but I never. Uh, but that's basically what I want to do. So today, I'm going to take you guys into Nosegate, show you guys what kind of options it has to offer and things like that. So we're gonna go into audio effects. We're gonna go to dynamics. We're gonna go down to Nosegate and open up, and the plugins gonna look a little something like this. Uh, you got your attack, hold, release. You got your reduction and your threshold. Um, I wouldn't play. A, I wouldn't play around a lot with these with these bottom ones, like the look ahead, uh, the high cut, low cut, and this other one right here. I wouldn't play around a lot with it. Basically, what I want you guys to do is go throw this on a track. Um, uh, put put the attack at zero. Uh, uh, put the hold at zero, and and basically put the release at about maybe 65.5 and and basically what I want you guys to do is throw it on a track and play around with the threshold and the reduction and then uh, that will that will basically show you guys what kind of a effect the plugin is going to give you um I'm I'm assuming it's a gate by the by the by the terms of it or by the name of it so basically you know go to your threshold see uh see what point you want you want the plugin to occur at and then play around with the reduction it'll basically uh Give you guys a little idea of what it is. If you guys can't get a crack on it later on uh, in the future, I'm going to post this video and I'm going to show you guys how I use it to to get the best optimum results out of it. But for right now, go ahead and play around with it and hopefully you guys can get a positive effect out of it. I uh, hope I benefited you guys today. Thank you guys for watching the video and please subscribe.